Mark, you're worthy in podcast all day. All day. Dream by night. <laughs> Don't buy me a drink. Just give me 10 bucks. Yeah, all day. <laughs> Go down to the strip club with your floppy disk and turn it into a hard drive. Yeah, right. You'll get fucking thrown out by Big Tony. <laughs> we're here to name names and make people feel more ashamed for shit that they're not proud of. Don't blow it. Keep it simple. Count your money. Well, whatever it is. <laughs> Welcome to episode 71. You're here with uh, Marky. We've got two guests on the podcast. Uh, We're just going to quickly do an intro before the actual show um, later on, but here's the treat you get at the top. You've got me, Marky, you know me, and to my right, we've got... Christian Elderfield. Fuck, I just can't say it as nice as you do. (laughs) Um, And then we've also got local Canberra comedian... Laura Johnston. That also plays guitar and... Piano. Sometimes piano. Sometimes piano. I appreciate you being on the show. Um, Laura's new to the scene, um, and you know I always like to get rotating guests on the show, new people that have just started out that you know can tell a bit about things from the past. Um, yeah. So I'd like to have um, Laura back to do a full episode later on. But for now, man, fucking, um, you're here in Canberra, about to kick off a gig soon. What's it like to? Um, fucking be doing a Canberra show how do you feel what's it like to be doing a Canberra show uh, <laughs> oof well I drove three hours down um, had a fucking pie on the way what's uh, your go to when it comes to pie flavours oh pie fl- mate I'm like standard beef you know like, oh yeah it's just like that's what I miss from such back- a Brit aren't you you're just oh, like don't like, fuck no this flavor. for me Matt, yeah like, I just see like bacon and cheese yeah. like why are you putting cheese in yeah. a pie yeah and I already had that for breakfast. Why do you want me to have it? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, fuck, I, I love my meat. I love yeah. my meat. And yeah. that could be... could. Be, I mean, like, look at these cheekbones. I mean, people just assume I love meat in all senses. You have a fucking... S- uh, a good structure. You know what I mean? You ever just see a good structure? You're like, <laughs> that guy <laughs> likes beef jerky. I wish he was talking about jokes, but he's talking yeah. about no, he's bones. Talking about bones. Yeah. That's it. Uh, thanks, man. Thank you. Yeah. Are you flirting with me? Um, well, I mean, we'll see how it goes. I would compliment your bone structure. <laughs> But it's covered in mountains yeah, of, uh, of beard, dwarf yeah. hair. Yeah. <laughs> like you be down it's not even mine. mine. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of mines, um, uh, oh, hello, we got a. Hey, got Chris guest. is here. What's this Legion of Skanks? We just got fucking people dropping in. <laughs> hey, we got we got guest drop in spot here. Chris Malton. Hey, Chris. Christian. Good Chris Malton. Oh, yes, Hello, nice Laura. to meet you. How's the Laura view? It's got? so good to see oh, you. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. They're getting a good Chris Malton view because the camera's right there. So oh, yeah, jump true, jump sorry. on the couch if you want to be part oh, is this of this. Being recorded? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, yeah. it's, yeah. it's an sorry, intro before the intro. You should put up a thing saying podcast. I'll shut the door. Jesus, this guy just comes through and fucks it up. This is uh, one, one of the... Thoughts doing this over. <laughs> it's the first time he'll do it tonight and the last. <laughs> um, no, his, um, no, the MC will steal the fucking show. Like how I've stole everyone's attention. It's good to have your undivided attention on my own podcast. Got do, you, do you MC every gig here? Um, yes, yes, do I you, do. Do you do... So is there, are there return people that come back every month yeah yeah do you feel pressure to do different hey, uh, just up there yeah yeah different All good. uh different material every gig my burgers here I'm yeah so yeah excited i've never seen him want to wrap it up quicker until the food got here <laughs> <laughs> uh, like i thought it was fucking bad i thought it was bad enough when i was making him uncomfortable about complimenting <laughs> his fucking jaw structure and then the food gets here and it really kicked in um but yeah no i i, I do mc um every gig here i have in the past had like a guest mc or so, like like years ago um but i am such a fucking um finger on the pulse motherfucker i don't know if you call it that or yeah, micromanager um <laughs> i see it's different um because well you're right australia's actually well you you probably used to the that's your fucking hard line jesus christ Who the fuck? <laughs> pulse or bum you're just like neither um, so, just get that low line and level it with your expectations and uh, um, it'll be a bonus tonight i i constantly write n- new shit to mix with stuff that i know works so i try new stuff i try different things so you couch so, it you couch it between things and, and i do know. crowd work and shit which is relevant for that I, I actually met you at a sydney gig um we did laugh mob um where yes. umc and it's with a, with a in that of vibe. Six people in the crowd. Yeah, yeah. and uh, and Mark <laughs> killed. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> all the people in the killed. Crowd killed all. Yeah. Bang, bang, bang. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> 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 Sorry. Yeah. Um. Yeah. I just fucking. 
it's not as bad when you're a white guy with a beard saying that you killed like it's just a different thing here in in australia i mean we've got different gun laws it's fucking totally different thing all right so you can't just be like this fucking guy killed like i remember that's actually a callback because do you remember the dude at that gig that was saying he was shooting that day he was like a film guy and he was like oh, oh i'm shooting yeah, today he was dressed as uh john travada from pulp fiction that's and right and you already time. said that and i was like fuck he took my thing because i was like and that's how i was like all oh, right this is fucking good because he's like emceeing how i emcee and roast the fu fucking front audience members but when there's only six people you've roasted the whole front row at that <laughs> point so um i had to like deep dive to find something to roast people about um, yeah yeah because you get up on stage and do material yeah, yeah holy yeah. fuck <laughs> oh, oh the mc's taking all the low-hanging fruit hell i have to actually <laughs> work for it that's an mc's job <laughs> yeah take it, take it from the ground Le baby. leave it for the rest um but yeah that's, <laughs> that's <laughs> like do whatever suits my technique yeah yeah exactly make me look shit by being so good at your job that I actually have to work for my laughs. Oh, fuck, look at this foreign concept. I actually heard on a podcast... Um the One foreign concept is the name of the visa that I'm on. So. Oh right, yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay, so it's. Is not anyone else from another? Is everyone Aussie in here? Ah, uh, my character. No, it's not. But I. Am. Your character. You do a character. Yeah, I do characters. Yeah. What? What? What are you? What are you I playing? I'm a work scene. accountant. I mean, what's? <laughs> I'm joking. I'm joking, man. Um, oh, there you go. You got a mic. Out of work account. No, no, no. Uh, I don't Sorry, I'm just, I see the jacket. I see the jacket, and I'm like, oh, someone's been to Academy brand. Oh, yeah. Really? Oh, it's a nice jacket. Oh, I don't it's know. Yeah, it's any jacket I've got. So. Holy fuck. I like it. So, so um, I like you're about to sell me a used watch. Or oh. <laughs> <laughs> see. Do, I don't mind you roasting the other comedians because they hopefully won't be in the crowd as the MC. It's like, take this roasting <laughs> so nice. I can still have some fruit on the tree <laughs> left. <laughs> um, it's like a, a glaze. It's, it's a British or roast. It's like you'll think about it on the way home and be like, that fucking got me. Like, it's a slow burn. <laughs> it it's it's the whole point of a roast, low and yeah. slow. It gets you in the end and before you know like it, you fucking looking. wish you just never did it. Yeah, uh, slow. Uh, <laughs> Yeah. But yeah, fuck. That is the intro before the <laughs> podcast, man. I have to Woo. fucking kick off this gig. I was super stoked to even just get you here for this gig. Really happy to get you here. To, Thanks for having me. I'm, to, I'm to super, do it all. super happy to be out there and... I think I'm gonna crowd surf. Yeah. Afterwards. Please. Yeah. Well, Can we take us yourselves. Um, Seven. Okay. Good. Okay. That'd yeah, but the, <laughs> but they're strong. We won't talk about numbers on the show. So this fucking um, no, no, no. no, we we sold out. Yeah, yeah. Hey. Exactly. <laughs> We're only in the green room because all the other rooms are full. Um, the there's a bunch of walk ups as well, and there's a lot of people here for Lanswell, and they're fucking strong people. So you only need three people to crowd surf when Lanswell's on the bill. So. Um, I'm pretty strong. Yeah, no, exactly. Oh, yeah, very strong. What can I say? Exactly. Well, if they have any trouble, feel free to step in. <laughs> but um, I did a podcast I'm with Caleb. Um, we're going to do that after this. Um, put that in after this. So thanks for listening to the intro. Now let's get into the episode. Cheers for everyone for being on. Let's get on with the comedy gig. Cheers. Thanks, guys. Hey. Cheers. I love it. I love that it's the Marky Worthington podcast with Marky Worthington. <laughs> Hey, how's it going? This is episode 71 of the Marky Worthington Comedy Podcast, recording this one in the discreet remote location that is the green room at the basement, here with uh, one of the uh, one of the comedy homies, Caleb, how you doing, man? Hey, yeah, good, man. Yeah, good? good. good. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, uh, so we're about to uh, jump on stage later tonight for the um, for the Christian Elderfield gig, so we figured mm. that we'd be cool to hang out. We always... Well, we were chatting a few weeks ago, I think, at a mic at, like, Transit, and I was like, oh, we should do, like, a podcast. Yeah. And um, figured, yeah, it'd be cool to have you on. I'm a five-year comedian at this point, and I know it doesn't fucking look like it. And first of all, I'm not a five-year lighting and sound technician, so if you've got a problem with the fact they're in a dimly lit room, like I'm talking to the, the listeners, um, they don't fucking bitch at me. They can't all be in the studio. This is the, this guy is so busy, he couldn't fucking, you know, I'm not going to drag him to I the house. I another podcast right after. Yeah, so. yeah, 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 exactly. I'm spending my allotted time talking about how shit my podcast is instead of trying to make it better with the guests. Um, but yeah, man, I was comedy for five years, podcasting for a few, um, but you're relatively new to the scene, man. How long have you yeah. been doing comedy? Oh, good question. Like a couple of, maybe like five months at this point, I think. Yeah. 
yeah, yeah. F- five months and you was your first time on stage here first time was here yeah, yeah at the basement yeah. yeah yeah no it was sick it was sick yeah. i was uh jumped on and i forgot the whole thing with the bright lights yeah i was like i can't see anyone but i think it was actually good because I was like, I don't want to see the, the lack of laughter. You yeah, know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, it's one of those things, man. Like, if it's going well, or, well, the biggest thing is, like, for your first time, you're just, well, I'm not about to be, like, this isn't the comedy advice, fucking the unsolicited comedy advice podcast, but um, it kind of is. But um, when I get new people come along and want to mm. jump, I find sometimes it helps that they can't see the extent of the audience sometimes yeah. like it's not massive every time yeah. but uh, compared to some mics where you can use it's not the same style of lighting mm-hmm. um it changes so yeah, i think like it, a cafe yeah, type, yeah, yeah, yeah 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 which i still dig cafe gigs i actually um like do them whenever i can get up mm. um but it's good to have a different venue in the mix to change it up because sometimes the first experience someone has with an, with a stage with like lighting like that mm. might be the first time they get a paid gig or something mm. and it's like get some on the back foot yeah yeah so i i like to be able to sort of add a bit of um bit of a mix to the scene yeah yeah, yeah i feel like especially like when it's your first time and you're rehearsing like just line by line you know like you're doing a speech at school yeah and so you're not really used to having to naturally interact so not seeing the people helps you just kind of go through it without any distractions yeah Other- otherwise you're just like oh how do i do crowd work and stuff and you know it, it's it's yeah yeah well that's yeah. another thing too like i like a bit of crowd work here and there mm. um oh look i know my way around a bit of crowd work mm. Uh, mm. Yep. <laughs> so, yeah um it's funny because like lately i've been doing more and more crowd work and it's just funny for me to say like oh, i do a little bit because mm. 12 months ago that was probably true but now like if i get a chance i might devote like a couple minutes out of my set to crowd work like mm. and then just go back to the material if there's nothing there yeah um, and i've written some great bits by just doing crowd work and something comes up you know just in the moment yeah yeah like i'll have a bit that might not be landing and then it'll be a bit about you know people that wear cat man do shit yeah and i'll notice like a table of people wearing cat man do shit and i'll be like fuck hey he's going like fuck what's that all cat man do you know and then i'll like yeah like fuck would you rob a bank to fucking wear all that shit you know what i mean yeah, like yeah. like i'll and i'll be like oh cool now i can do that cat man do fucking joke mm. actually fuck it sponsor me if you want me to say cat man do <laughs> more than ju- i just have yeah i need to be paid oh that's a free plug fuck yes on my 70 fucking first episode of the podcast i'm putting my foot down no more brands unless you're paying me this is it i'm yeah. turning over a new leaf <laughs> um but yeah i think that like and, and that's why those cafe gigs and shit are good because you can see the audience like you can yeah. you can try different jokes in different venues and shit so yeah, and you've, sure. you've done other other rooms that i've seen you at as around as well so yeah not just yeah, yeah. here yeah like the gang gang and stuff yeah. like that yeah yeah, yeah. like yeah. the smiths and that shit yeah, as well smiths, yeah, yeah 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 it's um it's definitely more of like a natural vibe i guess which can kind of bite you in the ass i feel like if you aren't that kind of natural mm. like you're still working on your timing and stuff yep. which i definitely happened to me <laughs> at gang gang yeah first joke so I, the time before i did the same set and it got got a few laughs at gang gang i go first joke no one laughs i'm like oh shit, here we go second joke again no one laughs Fuck. completely silent and I'm, then in my mind i'm like oh all my jokes are the exact same style yeah, of comedy yeah. and i was like this is not gonna work i just did the whole set the only laugh i got the entire set was it was really silent and i was like should i continue or not and i was like i'm just gonna let the silence sit for a minute you mean me Huh? Are you asking no, me? No, no, this is this this is in my head. No, I was, I was just fucking with yeah. you. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say if you're gonna burn a bit, don't. Yeah. <laughs> You've got like four. I don't want one of them to be out already. Yeah. <laughs> no, you're good, man. I'm no, um, yeah. So you're like, do you want to keep going or not? Yeah, in my head, I was like, should I keep going? Should I not? And then uh, I was like, yeah, I'll let the silence sit for a minute. I said that out loud, and then some guy chuckled. I was like, that wasn't a joke. That was just me. Yeah, yeah, whining out loud, and yeah. then that was it. I was like, oh, I'll keep going. Yeah, boom, straight back down, and yeah. It's such a, it's such. I, I described this. I actually might put up a clip of this because I've only said it once, and mm. it was pretty good. Mm. Um, but I described. I think I was at Polo. Have you done oh, Polo yet? 
I've seen yeah. Nate's play, but I haven't. Yeah, yeah, yeah so yeah, so yeah. I, I've um, I did polo, and I was like, this set is going to be like Flappy Bird. Like you just like mm-hmm. with the minute it starts going, you just fucking like into the ground. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, hey. Hey, Marty. Hey, bro. Oh, how sorry, you doing? Just yeah. Just you know, I just dropped it off the door. Yeah, all good, the brother. Yeah, no worries. Yeah, you got your cash? Oh, sorry? You got the cash as well? Dave yeah, sorted you yeah, out? Sorted. Thanks, I dropped, bro. I dropped a few posters in as well, so... For what? Just just to throw in with whatever it is that's going on with the giveaway thing. Okay, yeah, yeah, cool. No worries. Sorry to interrupt. Yeah. I didn't you were recording. Oh, good, sorry, brother. Sorry, all right. You can edit around it. <laughs> So where were we? Um, oh, Flappy Bird. Oh yeah. Um, all right. Well, if we're just coming back from a quick break, that's the shortest amount of time that you've ever had um, a quick break at. Yeah. Um, that was kind of like the five-minute intro. We take a quick break, and now we're coming back from it. Uh, yeah. For those of you that don't know, we do this at a venue, man. People are gonna fucking walk in. They're gonna ask me shit. I might even leave that in there, but unfortunately, I don't want to because <laughs> I don't want to. I don't want to do too much cross promotion amongst my businesses. Yeah. yeah. Uh, not even businesses, hobbies. Yeah. Um, obsessions, more so. Obsessions, yeah. Um, but yeah, all right. So yeah, we're chatting about the the polo gig, Flappy Bird, and I've had a couple of good moments at that, like crowd work and shit. And mm. I, and I'm at I'm at the point where I, like I said to you before, don't burn the bit. Mm. I don't want to burn material yet because mm. I have a bunch of shit. If I want to put it out, I'll do it and record it properly mm. and get it out there like as like a decent like video yeah if yeah. i can yeah yeah um shit thing is if you plan all the video to be all set up and shit and then like you just fucking do the bit and it doesn't land because you know whatever reason you forgot yeah. a punch or a tag or yeah you, you know the crowd might already know that bit because now you're selling tickets people have seen it before mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. that's why i like to keep my shit fairly fresh mm. and even if i do a good bit i'll put it to the back burner mm. and work on new shit and then by the time i like get a come back round again mm. um i might sit on that for four months or something and then be like all right fucking now we'll throw it back out again yeah so there's like a new batch of audience that haven't heard that one yeah get and out I've of just, people's mind yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, i've just been like i said i've kind of got a bit of repertoire now of shit that like i know works mm. um so that's why i'm planning my first like sp- I, not special but first like fucking like um headlining set mm-hmm. um later in the year so that i can go all right over the last five years here's 45 minutes of fucking shit that works that i um would like to put together Mm, mm -hmm. and compile so i guess people just get to that point after a while where they either get sick of doing it or the audience has already heard it before if they get i haven't got repeat fucking People, guests and yeah, shit yeah but i i just you know i mix it up a little bit also i get bored of doing shit dude like oh, i get sick of doing bits yeah it's like you, you tell it enough and then people can hear that you're tired of yeah telling it. they can hear like the kind of monotony yeah in, in your voice yeah 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 and, and look i'm not trying to fucking turn this into like all about me um what about yourself man when it comes to like um I listen to a bunch of podcasts and mm. shit. Do you have any like comedians that you that you dig? Oh, ever yeah. I, I was listening to the Bad Friends yeah. podcast before with uh yeah. so Bobby Lee and yeah, Andrew yeah. Satino. Yeah. Yeah, I haven't listened to that one but I know of it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And um what else? Oh I like the comedy Bang Bang. Yeah. No, yeah, 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 yeah. Um yeah. who else? Norm MacDonald. Oh, probably my favorite he's so time. fucking good man i heard him on legend of skanks first oh, yeah. of all yeah i mean because i love legend of skanks i mm. fucking listen to pretty mm-hmm. much mm-hmm. every episode and uh if i didn't want to accidentally do a gang sign and get like in trouble i would throw up the skank hands yeah. right now <laughs> but like i don't want to accidentally fuck it up and just like end up in hot water yeah yeah, yeah. Um, it's like, i'll get shanked immediately dude, it's a fucking <laughs> bad time when you're like no 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 i didn't mean to throw up the fucking gang sign i meant to throw up the most offensive podcast in the world yeah. like yeah they're just like, chill, that's a white chill. supremacist saying yeah. like, i'm not a white supremacist they're like really <laughs> i'm just a legion of skanks fan yeah. where's che gomez is puerto rican come yeah. on <laughs> um, um but yeah uh, uh, also i'm going to address at the start yeah. of this i had to like adjust this the, yeah because yeah. i'll be constantly fucking with this throughout the podcast yeah, um good. and um at the start it would have been clipping a bit so mm-hmm. if you heard the start of this podcast and you're still listening because you're not one of those fucking audio nerds yeah yeah um 
you've made it through to the the gold Hell yeah, yeah. You, you know the hidden track at the end of the albums and yeah. shit dude like yeah. the first five minutes and then like the like rest of the podcast yeah. the, but the only difference is like the first five minutes is the bit mm. and then like the rest of the podcast is the hidden track like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's like dude normally you give someone something to go off you know yeah, like, yeah. it'd, it'd be like having a 30 second album a fucking 30 minute hidden track yeah <laughs> you know it's like it's asked about dude yeah, yeah. um but yeah I, I like those guys and i think we're chatting about like the podcast you like and the ones mm. i like mm. and that's why it's just like i think we have a similar taste in podcasts and yeah. comedians yeah um actually whitney cummings was on the last joe rogan no on, on, on uh the last legion of skanks oh, dude. Oh, 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 oh. and fuck she annihilated yeah, dude yeah. she was so funny yeah fuck yeah. she was good like um i think she was on like a bunch of other ones as well press, because press on, she yeah. has a special on netflix right that right. she was chatting about so yeah. i'm assuming it might be the press for that mm. um mm. but fuck dude like it was so fucking good they yeah. like she was doing she did she like smoking pot on the show oh, and shit yeah, just fucking yeah. like um they're like do you like pot yeah. and she was like oh yeah I'll every yeah, now and yeah, again yeah, yeah. and they pull out a full dab rig and just start oh. blazing it up <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and uh, lewis is like don't grab hold of the some people think it's a shoddy and oh, like, they gotta pull, and pull it up yeah, and it's yeah. gl like glowing Turn hot it. yeah yeah i don't smoke pot i've said this on a few episodes but um you know my, my generation i think how, how old are you 26 26 yeah, yeah so yeah. you're a bit younger than me i'm yeah. 29 right, yeah. but i feel like like it was similar kind of like circumstances that we grew up in yeah it was kind of like i think our generation this might be our fucking thing that we talk about when we're older yeah yeah when we were kids if you wanted to smoke weed you had to like be low-key about it and fucking like hide it and shit yeah you know what i mean that yeah. could be our fucking claim to fame yeah the last generation of yeah of doing that yeah yeah yeah, yeah. getting in the car with your, with your little gatorade that, bottling, did, driving fuck. to empty car park later yeah, night yeah. doing it yeah and some fucking billies in the van dude yeah, yeah, yeah like yeah, the, yeah. that's what they used to billies that's another term that there's a couple i talked about this on the podcast with caitlin mags mm. she was chatting about old terms festy mm. do you remember that shit dude when something was festy, yeah. oh, like nasty yeah festy. yeah yeah, yeah. Fuck, i haven't heard that in a yeah, while so long dude. yeah um also i realized the other day i haven't heard the term yonks in yonks Mm. Like, <laughs> but fuck man there's some old school um references for you yeah well not old school just old school for someone that's sub 30 mm. um but i wanted to check um I, I had something funny happen to me this week but first of all your turn have you any 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 funny stories or anything from this week not like as part of this the week. thing but like just basically any anything funny from the week because i had a fucking pretty funny uh situation happen to me well if we can count it as two weeks i was in fiji yeah the other week before oh shit yeah yeah and um i got drugged one night oh when I was what out. the fuck yeah, yeah. oh man i was coming into this hot and you're just gonna overshadow me <laughs> just it was, yeah but basically what happened was i was um so i was at the hostel right and it's just a bunch of different you know like kind of my age people um different countries yeah and it's pretty relaxed there so we would have oh, were the other aussies there as well yeah a few aussies yeah. a, lot, a lot of brits some yeah. americans um we tried to keep them away and uh <laughs> we were having like a campfire down at the beach and all, all the people I was with kind of just leave one by one. And it's just me and some local guys. And one of the guys, he's like, yeah, come here, I want to talk to you. I said, like, okay. He whispers in my ear and he's like, there's two things you got to try in Fiji, the women and the weed. I was like, oh, okay. He's like, I'm going to take you back to my house tonight. I'm going to show you the real Fiji. And I'm, because I always travel solo, so I'm quite, quite like skeptical of anyone trying to take <laughs> yeah, me back yeah. to their house. Yeah. I'm like, oh, that's cool, man. But like, I got, I got friends over there at the bar, I'm gonna go see. So I just like get up and leave. And he's following behind me. And I don't actually have any friends there, so I'm just really hoping there's someone from the hostel. There is, so I get there, I'm talking to them. And the guy, the, there's two chicks that are there. And um, I'm talking to them, I'm like, what's happening, what, what's going on? And they're like, oh, we're gonna go out into the city clubbing mm. with these local guys. Um, and they, this, these, they weren't, weren't the smartest travelers. Yeah. Um, one of them got a parasite and just had it for like a month. Didn't know how. To Fuck. That's a whole other. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Holy shit, dude. <laughs> yeah, she was in hospital three times. Yeah. But yeah. Um, 
And I'm like, all right, well, I got to stay with them now because, they, they you know, I don't want them to get drugged. Yeah, yeah. Um, and one of the guys there, he's <laughs> like, hey, what's going on? My name's James, James Shannon. I was like, oh, nice to meet you. I was like, what do you do? He's like, oh, I work on Survivor, the, the TV show, because they film it there in yeah. CG. I was like, oh, okay, cool. And so then we end up we end up going out. He's like, yeah, get in my car. So there's seven of us in the car. He's like, Caleb, I got a gift for you. I was like, oh, okay, cool. Put it in my hand, gives me, gives me just a bunch of weed. And I'm like, oh, shit, what is this? And he's like, oh, it's a little gift. And then he pulls up this big bag, huge plastic bag full of weed. I was like, I thought you worked on Survivor. He's like, yeah, well, I also sell to all the other, like all the other countries around here. <laughs> oh, yeah, dude. He's like on one of those boats, like yeah, just yeah. Go, like the rowboats just going out. Yeah, yeah. He's yeah. got like a whole island of captive audience that's just 100%. waiting for him to come. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Apparently they just grow it like up in the mountains. Like Fuck. they don't even, yeah. That's what every weed dealer tells you, man. Oh, they're yeah. They're like, they're like, just grow it like in their backyard. Yeah. And they're like, yeah, some dude smuggled this in from Jamaica and he's shoe, dude. Yeah. <laughs> he's yeah. like, and you're like, mm, I think you made that in K Lane, eh? Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. <laughs> I can smell it from all the way yeah. gunners. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, so the fucking, so you, you yeah. get it off him. Yeah, so I get it off him. And, and he's like, he's like, I love Australians. You're a dog cunt, Caleb. You're a dog. I'm like, <laughs> I don't know if you know what that means, but you're like six five and twice my size. So I'm gonna let you say it. He's like, "Oh, I love you, I love you." So we get out of the car, and he's like, "He's like, all right, you still got the gift?" I was like, "Yeah." He's like, "I right, give it back." I was like, "That's not a gift, but okay." And uh, then he gets a beer can, smashes it, smoking out of it, and then we get into the clubs. And in Fiji, um, everything's shared. Like it's very friendly. Everything's shared. Like cigarettes, they'll share one between ten people. Fuck. And for drinks, they'll buy like a big beer puff, tower. Puff pass on a fucking yeah. Winnie Blue. Yeah, hundred percent, hundred percent. They'll get like big beer towers. Like, but it could be anything. It could be like, like uh, vodka cruises in yeah. a beer tower. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. they'll have these little shops like, and shit. Yeah, hundred percent. And they'll just share them around to everyone. Yeah. And so the women it was smarter than me. They were like don't take free drinks when you go clubbing yeah so they just kept giving me all the free drinks all night and uh at some point someone put someone in one of my drinks um but i didn't notice until i got back to the hostel luckily like oh, finally get back to the taxi get in the taxi get back i don't really remember parts of it but that was the alcohol yeah get back and i'm kind of like sobering up i feel like i lay down in bed and then my whole body just goes numb i'm like I don't think I'm breathing. I don't think I'm breathing. I was uh, like, I put my hand to my chest. And like, you okay, just I didn't think you were. Yeah. I just didn't think I was. I stand up and I can't feel my legs, but mentally I'm, I'm all it's right. Fine. Yeah. And I get out and I'm talking to these people that are sitting out there. I'm like, guys, am I okay? And they're like, yeah, you're all good. I was like, did it take me like five minutes to say that sentence? They're like, no, no. I'm like, okay, cool. Well, Oh, I'm, fuck, I'm, I'm, dude. Yeah, yeah. So I was like, what am I going to do? I'm the fucking cat lad. Yeah, yeah. I was <laughs> no, like, I don't know what it was. <laughs> <mean. laughs> um, I was like, that's the whole point. <laughs> yeah. And I was like, well, I don't really want to go to sleep in case I do stop breathing. Yeah. So I just went to the bathroom, just shoved my whole fist in my mouth, threw up black vomit. Oh, for like, shit. It felt like 30 minutes, but it was probably like 30 seconds. Yeah, yeah. Fuck. And then uh, that was the only night I slept through the whole night. Best, Fuck. best sleep I had the whole, yeah, whole yeah. trip, which was good. Yeah, I yeah. mean, if it's on the tail end of the night, it's probably not as bad not as it could have been. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's just like taking like NyQuil or something. You know? Fucking was, brutal. Yeah, yeah. I've done a lot of drugs and yeah. it didn't feel like anything yeah, yeah. I've done. So a like, mystery, like extra one that you don't know about yet. Yeah, some island island drug, dude, yeah. like some weird coconut mixture. Yeah, it's just yeah. funny if like someone put like some shit in the, um, like an island drink that already tasted like shit mm -hmm. and someone was mad it's like oh you spice you s fucking spiked me carver you know what i mean yeah, like yeah. you ever been to the multicultural festival and had the carver dude they're like <laughs> oh it makes you fuck i don't know if they do anymore but when yeah. i went last was years ago mm. and they were like oh yeah this makes you hallucinate and shit mm -hmm. It just tasted like i actually had like some it just tasted water. like fucking muddy water yeah yeah um and i was like yeah right yeah it's not super strong because like but there was dudes in, there in yeah. the tent that were like part of the, mm -hmm. the like group of people that were handing it out mm -hmm. 
and um, they were definitely on something. Mm -hmm. I don't know if that, but like, there was just like an Islander dude out the front just fucking dancing and shit, like, come and have some carver. And I was just like, oh man, this is, but I'm not a drug guy. Right. Um, And to be fair, I just had a sip to see what it tastes like. You gotta have a lot. I think you've gotta have a fuckload of it. And also, I'd already had a few beers, so Mm -hmm. like, I didn't know what was what Mm -hmm. um, in my system. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I think that's probably the only thing I've ever done was a sip of carver. Yeah. You know what I mean? That's- At the multicultural festival where it's completely legal. Yeah. 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 Um, in 20, like, 12 or something 2013 I think right, so yeah. I think they've changed it since then yeah because um, it's now or well, it was illegal and now it's not illegal again I don't know it's 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 one of those things it's like well I've already tried it while it was a grey area so I'm not going to go out of my way to try it while it's like while I'm like I'm not getting anything out of that and I yeah. actually have a theory that they might actually like not really put much of the shit in there like you know like for the festival like they yeah. might there's so many people want to try it mm-hmm. they're just probably fucking like diluted a lot or some shit yeah like when yeah. you go to a club and then they just pour your vodka red bull and it's just like water and mm-hmm. red bull. it tastes like that yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah um i love like so i'm a bartender and i and and i'm always really like upfront about that like i'll come and pour the vodka in in front of you in mm-hmm. the, and that's just a me thing yeah I because do. if I prefer when people do that yeah, yeah yeah and um but if i go somewhere else i can't be mad if they like don't do it in front of me but i also prefer if they did yeah 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 um all right so you had a fucking excellent story but unfortunately yeah. that yeah. was two weeks ago so it doesn't okay. count no, <laughs> no that was that, 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 <laughs> um no that that's funny shit dude fucking no, I didn't even know that you just blitz me with your Fiji story, dude. No, so mine's slightly less out of the house. Yes. So I'm sitting there at home, and my comedy email address is everywhere, right? Mm-hmm. Like, I've sent um, sent it through to so many promoters and so many places, and I even put it online for people to submit um, mm-hmm. information to me, like book spots everywhere. So for, trying to find how many people have my comedy email address, which I use publicly, mm-hmm. is v- pretty much fucking impossible yeah um it's on instagram which i use hashtags and shit to share stuff like they don't even have to be following me and they could have that shit Mm -hmm. right Mm -hmm. i get an email saying that um and i've already fucking flagged this with the admins of the site so Mm -hmm. they can't it can't be reused again right um so this is why i'm saying it on the podcast i get an email saying welcome to latina cupid (laughs) um all you need to do now to verify your account is to log in and like set your password yeah and i was just like okay that could be a scam but Mm. i'll go to like the website just through the browser like i'll just google it yeah yeah. and go in there and um there was a section there where it was just like already existing account Mm. and i put in my um i I searched for my email address Mm. and pulled up the profile that was associated to it oh yeah and because i was signed in to the browser using my gmail address Mm. it just authenticated through and said oh yeah like this is the thing so i didn't even have to put in a password and i was able to set check the profile that this person had created for me yeah um for for themselves using my email address Mm -hmm. And dude, all right, I'm going to read you the details of this profile. And then I'll, I can't show the photo because I, it's probably not the person that used it. It's some random picture. Yeah, yeah. So I'm just going to get you to describe the person okay. for the listeners without me having to show it. Fair. So the um, thing. Yeah, the person is between 30 to 40. Okay. Mm-hmm. They live in Colombia. Yeah. And they're looking for a male from 31 to 50. Okay. Where they live, anywhere. Would she relocate anywhere? <laughs> <laughs> okay, that is not an ugly person. I'm going to start off with that. Color of hair. Color of hair, brown, yep. tipped yellow. You're blonde, blonde. <laughs> She's got maybe herpes, maybe got punched in the mouth. Nice eyes. Birthmark. Birthmark. birthmark she she yeah. tells people it's a birthmark. A birthmark. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely not the person who made that account. Yeah. I can 100% <laughs> that. Like that person's not fucking willing to relocate. Oh. Like if oh, they're 100%. not next door, that's too far. No, no. Yeah. So, and there's two photos. So that's one. Mm-hmm. That's two. 
probably the same person, but two very different difference, yeah, like um, angles. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But yeah, right. So you see that? Yeah, a hundred percent. That's um, fucking hilarious. So th- yeah. this, so anyone that was to match with that person mm-hmm. wouldn't be expecting me as no. the 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 owner of the email address, right? Yeah. yeah. Um, now I see that and I'm like, all right, I'm going to like, see if there's a way of like getting my shit off this. Right. Mm -hmm. So I go on there and I was just like, I'm going to, the funny thing is Latina uh, Cupid. So like, Mm -hmm. it's not even one of the main ones. Yeah. Like it's it's, like a targeted. Yeah. It's like a fetish site for fucking like dating apps. It's like the fetish version of dating apps. Right. Yeah. 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 Um, So I. I go into the support section and under the FAQs, there's literally a like number one <laughs> thing is someone's used my email address to set up a fake profile <laughs> without my consent. Yeah. And I just literally clicked on that yeah. and filled out the form. And there was like a section there to put a photo. So I put in like the uh, screenshot of the profile and yeah. the profile link and all this shit. Cause yeah. I work, you know, with, um, this sort of shit all the time when it comes to like you know emailing people and shit i kind of looked at it from if i was the it guy on the other end Mm. what details would i need to delete this profile so i included all of that Mm. send it through um and then i also included like you know can you blacklist this email address because i'll never use this sign so just like to avoid it happening in the future (laughs) (laughs) show a photo of me and they say it's not the person from the thing yeah yeah. um but i just figured like someone out there's probably got their pictures stolen and used for this so whatever whatever um (laughs) that's the closest that um i've ever been to like fucking trafficking dude like my fucking email address was used to steal someone's photo not the actual person but just the phone anyway this is the fucking best part of it so i was like before i submit this case Mm. i might just go onto the profile and see if there's anyone that's like matched with me oh yeah because there's no like it's not verified or anything right and so no one can match with you but i was able to see people that have viewed the profile right and in my mind i'm like this is either someone who's so desperate they're just refreshing for new people Mm -hmm. or this may have been the person that created it using those fucking details now without showing anything Mm -hmm. (laughs) I'm going to read the um, description of this person. Mm -hmm. So this is a 71-year-old male. Yeah, yeah. Looking for a female from 26 to 45. (laughs) He's in for romance dating. That's that's in online. In online. Okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, he said I'm online. Oh, I'm online. Okay. That's that's actually my poor English. Oh, not yeah, his. Yeah. Because yeah. yeah, yeah. um, you're Latina. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> so, yeah. It's because I'm like a fucking like six out of ten Latin American yeah. um, that like kissed the wrong dick when I was sixteen. <laughs> <laughs> Um, is this just going to turn into a roast of the person who already had <laughs> their lame. shit stolen? Yeah. Um, they're having a bad enough time. Yeah. Um, yes, I have kids. No, they don't drink, live at home. I don't drink, don't smoke. I'm Christian Catholic. I'm into farming agriculture and I've got a bachelor's degree. That is... <laughs> I'm s- and... Um, <laughs> I'll show you the photo before I um, read the next part, but just describe the look of this guy. Oh, man. He looks like he... First of all, describe the angle of the photo. Like, is this optimal um, positioning for the camera? He looks like the photo was taken like two seconds before he had a stroke. <laughs> yeah. Or well, before I mean. he was ready for the photo to be taken. Yeah. yeah like, <laughs> he's, like, he's, they're like, photo time, and he's trying to hold him a It was a sweet <laughs> spot. Yeah. It's like, it was like too late for him to be ready, too early for him to have the stroke. Yeah. Like, yeah, yeah. It's the worst time for that photo to be yeah. taken. <laughs> It looks like he just met his future son-in-law and he's like, no, no. And because I can't show this on the show, I'm just going to say that I feel like part of this was also he wanted to show that he has a giant fucking um, framed picture in his house. Who even is that? Is that like... It's a horse, Rain, maybe. Horse well, he's in, into farming and agriculture, oh, okay, so, so it might be more of like a rural scene. Mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. 
<laughs> it's an Australian farm, dude. You just like, fuck off, mate. No one gets windmills and a horse in a boat. Yeah, he just lives down in Goulburn. Yeah. Unless you're Ryan Gallagher, you get it tattooed on your belly. <laughs> he's got that removed now, apparently, yeah. but yeah. Um, yeah, he's a full, full, full fucking like Australiana fucking body tattoo. Oh, really? Oh, yeah, shit. yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, Oh, he's a Canberra. Yeah, uh, he's a, he's a comedian um, that's c- played here before, yeah. performed here before. Yeah. But he's originally from um, a bunch of TV shows that he did. Yeah, right. like uh, Married at First Sight and shit. Oh, yes, yeah, yes, yeah. yes, yes, yeah. yes. 2018. Yeah. He was like the yeah. first season. So, right, yeah. right. Um, but now he's just on OK Cupid and fucking. Mm. I mean, I mean, not OK Cupid, Latin Cupid. Latin Cupid under yeah. the alias um, of a 71 year old man. Yeah. To be fair, though, 71, not That's bad. Good for if 71. he's actually 71. Yeah. But also, why would you play your age up? So I feel like either this isn't actually the dude or. 71 isn't his actual age you yeah, know what i mean maybe. but why maybe it's like an older guy thing like knowing that chicks to sometimes go Just for wanna, yeah yeah yeah, yeah. He yeah. He he's on, looking for a gold digger but he has no money he thought it was golddigger.com yeah. and he's on the wrong <laughs> wrong one wrong dude side, i like yeah. how they watermark it too just so you have to like you can't yeah. like get it fucked up yeah um but <laughs> uh, knowing what that dude looks like i'm just gonna read you this yeah go for it because he may have been burnt before by the sounds of this description yeah. you know just a simple man searching for a lady. Ladies in quotation marks. Okay. I don't know what the fuck okay. that's meant to mean. Yeah. Um, that wants a serious relationship. I live with traditional and good moral values. I am not into profile hopping. 100% okay. is. Um, one nice profile, one nice lady is enough. No games. <laughs> just no don't fuck me around i actually think that this dude might actually be pablo's replacement you yeah. know what i mean he might be the new we might have actually found this dude before he was famous that's true this could be the next narcos yeah. fucking doco waiting to yeah. happen yeah yeah um let's just hope it's not, not the next ted bundy tapes <laughs> <laughs> um yeah so, so um then in, in in the section below under the mm. seeking mm. i just want an honest woman that's sincere seems like a legit that's a, that's a, that's... i don't know why the fuck he thought i would provide him with that yeah. but um <laughs> and then they removed the profile i screenshotted that for the pod yeah um because i knew this would be a bit a yeah. fucking shitty fucking bit but mm. a bit <laughs> um and uh yeah um then they completely wiped the profile and 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 and, uh, and listed the yeah. email address under yeah. the uh, uh enable to use they were like look we know someone's going to talk about this on a podcast yeah yeah gotta get rid of it now yeah but, okay yeah. all right i said it before but i meant it this time no more shout outs without promotion <laughs> <laughs> um all right to wrap up the show man let's yeah. get on with our story time um okay. it's a newer segment i did i've done two story times so far i did one with lanswell last week mm-hmm. um in the previous episode it only came out at the time of recording it only came out yesterday so mm-hmm. not a lot of people would have heard it mm-hmm. by this point but he did a fucking excellent story about mm-hmm. when he was at church and one dude started like in the band started fucking beating the shit out of another dude that was oh, in the band oh, damn. and the priest didn't even know he was just yeah. up there hailing the word of the god yeah and yeah. the fucking band was having a punch on behind yeah. him <laughs> and uh, just yeah keeps going keeps so yeah listen to the back to that one if you want to hear that story yeah. but for now it's time for story time come on grab your friends we're all I already forgot this one. okay <laughs> <laughs> the fun will never end it's story time there we go Alrighty, there's our uh, intro. Okay. Let's uh, get into it. What do I got? Okay. The jingle. The jingle, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah it distracted me, man. It's too good, too good. <laughs> um, all right, so one time I was I was in Gangan. I was getting food. It would have been like 8 p.m., so it was slim pickings at that time. Yeah. And uh, they were doing a lot of construction, like, in the middle of the street, right? Yeah, so I remember that. Yeah, yeah, yeah so there's, uh, you know, like, the fences up everywhere. Yeah. And I'm walking. The light rail and shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. And so I'm walking, and there's these two, uh, two like very butch, m- meth head women, like yeah. very obviously like craters on their face, oh, like fuck. pale skin, Gnarly. walking in front, and they're just the one on the left just keeps spitting like. 
on the ground dude? spitting on the oh, ground but like no. she doesn't need to spit like yeah. trying to be hot you know when you're like 12 and you're like look at all the lighters i got yeah like, that yeah, kind of like yeah, fake yeah. tough yeah and they took those lighters and held them on a meth pipe yeah. <laughs> yeah, <100%. laughs> yeah. and so yeah she's spitting and then there's this couple of, like kind of up against the wall they, they're kind of being friendly making out mm. and she like spits right on the floor in front of them like right at the foot she's like what are you looking at and also they're like five foot right they're mm. not actually tough yeah and I'm like, oh, okay, here we go. I just want to get food. Had You'd a long be day. five foot and tough. Uh, yeah, uh, yeah, you can be, but they were. They're they were, all in the UFC, uh, not in Gun Garland. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 exactly, exactly. Um, they're in Western Sydney. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so I'm like, all right, I'm going to walk past these two people. That's where I got this suit it. from. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, like, I'm just going to walk past these people. And they notice that. And for some reason, they're like, oh, we can fuck with this guy. Don't know why. They, they just start like leaning over to the right yep. as they're walking. And I'm like, what, what? and they try to push me like into the fence. Hmm. I'm like, no, nah, I'm good, guys. And so I'm walking. I'm about ten feet ahead at this point, and I just see this like, what I realized was a piece of food just come flying past my head. Fuck. I'm like, fuck, dude. No, 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 no. I'm like, I'm not, not even going to turn around. Or I'm not going to start anything. Just when they thought wings didn't fly, yeah. <laughs> like chicken wings couldn't fly, dude. Yeah, yeah. From fucking like, a, it was like a wing from fucking Young and Frisky just goes straight past I your head. I wish it was, man. That would have been. I, would pick <laughs> hey, up I was and looking eat it. for food. Yeah, oh, well, I'm not a religious man, but fuck, I have to yeah, believe in something sign. after yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, dude. yeah. Yeah, and um, and then I'm like, all right. Five seconds later, boom, hits me right in the back of the head falls down like in my jacket you know yeah. like the hood yeah like, what is this oh it's sushi so it's like falling apart Fuck. i turn around i'm like no 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 thank you guys and they're like oh what do you want what do you want with us come fight us I'm like, all right so i walk up i just smack the sushi out of the hand i'm like no guys not today please yeah and then immediately they're like come on hit me can't hit me can't i'm like what First of all, yeah, and then I'm like, no, no, thank you. And then they start swinging. Were you calling me a cunt or giving me a direction where to hit you? (laughs) (laughs) Well, it's so fat, man. It would have been like falling over. (laughs) I mean, fuck, how good do you think I am? (laughs) (laughs) It's like that um, Rodney Rude bit. He walks out to a fight and there's two chicks having a scrap and one's going like, kick her cunt off, kick her cunt off. And he goes, yeah, kick it over here. Yeah. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah. Yeah, so, so they're swinging. I'm literally like with one hand just holding them both back because they're, they're probably on like a three day bender, yeah, right? So yeah. they're like tailing off at this point. Yeah. And they're like, come on, hit me, hit me, hit me. I'm like, no, no. And then after about like, like five seconds, they, they get puffed out and they're like, hit me, hit me. And then I just walk away. It does sound like James Brown, dude. <laughs> <laughs> and um, yeah, I'm walking away and then. I make it to a Porto's. I'm like, hell yeah, Porto's. Get in there, I ask the guy, I'm like, can you wipe all this food off my back? And he's, I'm like, he's like, what happened? I tell him a story. And he's like, oh, I feel so bad. I'll give you free chips. Hell yeah, free chippies. And then I see them like come past and they're trying it again with another guy, like a, even bigger than me. And he's got this big, like a, uh, what's it like delivery box. Yeah. And he just pegs it right on one of the person's face. Boom, hits him in the side of the head. Knox hits the other one in the side oh, of the head. Oh, fuck, yeah. dude. The, the <laughs> fucking, the 210 split. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> and then just he just disappears. I'm like, okay, cool. Kind of, I thought, I was like, oh, all right, that's the end. I don't know where they're going. Probably Chandwood, something like that. And then about 30 seconds, like a minute later, I just hear the sirens just woo, going past. First time I've ever seen cops with sirens. Yeah, like, yeah. actually go in a gun. Yeah, and, yeah. Yeah. That, that's that's that was, dude cops with siren sounds like a hardcore band they got a song called hit me cunt yeah, yeah. and cops without sirens is like an alt band like a like yeah. a light band yeah um um i remember i was at a gig one time um mm. actually this will be I don't, this isn't my story time but i was at a gig one time and this drummer mm. was playing and uh in the breakdown mm. He was trying to like get the crowd high. Oh yeah, yeah. And he yeah. goes, "Someone call a fucking ambulance!" Yeah. And then he's like, he was normally go like, "Because this shit's gonna get fucking crazy or something." Yeah. yeah. And the rest of the band started before he said, "This shit's gonna get crazy." So yeah. every cunt just thought the drummer was having a heart attack. <laughs> 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 it's just like fuck. Well, it makes sense. Yeah. <laughs> Oh fuck, dude! Yeah, that's that's crazy. I remember going to Gungala when they were building that fuck. To be fair, dude, 
out of all the shit that like mi- that they missed out on in the world because of covid mm. at least they finished the fucking light rail before the lockdowns yeah imagine sure. like well most mostly most, done yeah imagine yeah. how fucked indigestion would be on a podcast no <laughs> imagine how fucked um not, oh, it would still be happening if it, it if would it, still yeah. be happening yeah. Yeah. yeah yeah like apparently the, like this is some canberra talk um but yeah um oh yeah for all the other countries in the world that actually have adequate infrastructure <laughs> we're, we're just getting white rail we're, here in we're, canberra we've only we, just heard about yeah this yeah we yeah. just yeah yeah you, you fuck dude imagine how much our minds would be blown if they put a fucking bullet train down the guts of canberra oh, oh. dude fuck yeah. dude it would take like fucking i reckon it would take at least fucking 10 years for people to stop putting coins on the track <laughs> 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 um but yeah that like i'm glad that because i remember gunners when all those fucking like roadworks and shit were mm, up mm-hmm. it was fucked up mm-hmm. and all the businesses complained oh how shit would it be for the businesses dude because they went through like having hot fuck all day trade yeah because of that and then going into lockdowns yeah 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 i think most of them like so many places just got shut down for yeah sure. it really tested how committed you were to your side projects yes like the amount of people that were like oh i'm gonna open a fucking cupcake shop yeah and then once COVID comes, they'll just like, look, I'm just going to go back to doing a fucking like desk job, eh? Yeah, 100%. Like, there's no 100%. fucking... Yeah. Uh, like, there's just no fucking way. Like, I was lucky enough that I was working throughout the lockdowns mm. because I, like, I have a, an office job, but at the time I was just working at Dan Murphy's. Right. So everyone thought I was in IT. Mm. So they were, mm-hmm. they were acting as if I was fucking, mm-hmm. like, working in IT right and being like oh you know fuck like you know you'd probably be all right just working from home yeah, yeah. no kind i'm in the thick of it serving yeah, people yeah, cases yeah, of pe- you're the busiest there's a mo- there was a fucking time there where we're the only cards open yeah like yeah. us woolies yeah. and fucking coles i'm back in desk jobs it jobs now mm-hmm. but um it was a bit fucking touch and go there for a minute because i yeah. think i was earning fucking nothing like i did that job four days a week so it wasn't a full week Mm. because i was casual semi-casual or whatever part permanent part-time or something like whatever the fuck permanent part-time right okay um and i think i I worked out that i was on about 38 grand a year damn yeah to like be in the thick of covid while people were getting 600 bucks a week and i was getting 500 bucks a week Jeez. they'll get they'll sitting at home and yeah, i was just, fucking uh, like yeah serving cases of piss to yeah. everyone that was like mad because they had to be locked down yeah 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 so yeah. i still got their money in the end but yeah. i had to give it back to the company once i put in the till you know what yeah, I mean? yeah, yeah 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 most of it most of it <laughs> <laughs> sneaky yeah. um you know why they yeah. kept the liquor stores open was it because well, too many people would have died of alcoholism alcohol like withdrawals oh really yeah it's like an essential service at that yeah 100 percent. because yeah. alcohol and like one other class of drugs are the only type of drugs that you can actually physically actually die. die from withdrawals yeah oh, fuck. so it would have overloaded the hospitals even more well, if they yeah. shut it down yeah. yeah 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 fuck that's actually a good point see i was always under the impression and they told us this um was the reason that they were able to stay open is because although they're a liquor shop mm. they still sell like bottled water and shit as well right. so they're like a certain percentage of their products are considered essential services oh, yeah. yeah um but a, a, another thing was they used to get their shit from woolies right mm-hmm. so it's all in the same so umbrella. if they needed to they could use the dock to like load in right and stuff like right. or for storage or shit mm-hmm. like that mm-hmm um so yeah i guess like that's another another point but mm-hmm. fuck man it, we uh, got through that point of it now i'm back in an office job i'm pretty much fucking gucci for now yeah, yeah. um but yeah man fuck things are on the up and up we've got a gig on tonight we've got gigs coming up um yeah that wraps up the podcast what is there any social media that you want to shout out or anything like that man or i still gotta get around to setting that yeah, up to yeah. be honest i still just got my regular instagram yeah yeah yeah, yeah. it's just clb163 fuck yeah dude Instagram. That's get it, into yeah. it before it's like f- a so fucking people start asking def- a lot. Yeah, 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 yeah 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 you can have the personal profile before the comedy one goes up you know what i mean people yeah. are just fucking be like oh shit like 
here's like a photo of him in Fiji off his tits. Yeah, dude. Yeah, but yeah. then they'll be able to go onto the the comedy one and be like, when you create it, mm. and just be like, oh, what the fuck is just like posting about the spot that he did. They get the, the behind the scenes shit. Yeah, dude. the highlight and the, get and in the, at ground zero. Yeah, this dude. is the fuck. Get get in on the fu- get in on Bitcoin when it's like a dollar. Dude, <laughs> that's triggering, man. In 2014, I had one, like a whole Bitcoin yeah. on my old laptop. Oh, like, shit. it was like five, ten dollars yeah. when I first looked into it. Fuck. And I lost it. Like, it was one of my old school laptops. Yeah. And, and then Ethereum came out, and I was like, two coins, no way this is going to take off. This is $20 sun off. That's double what Bitcoin was. No way. Now it's like 50,000, 30,000 a single coin, dude. Fuck, dude. I went through all my old laptops at my parents' house. Like, give me, give me every electronics. And I went through all the hard drives, like scan them all. They thought you were a junkie, but for like, <laughs> for the electronics. Copper. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> we, we knocked over a house last night and there was only just enough to get me through till today. And now I'm back on the hunt. Yeah, yeah. 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 Fuck yeah, dude. But it turns out, oh, actually, I wonder how many junkies fucking raided shit for the copper when it had Bitcoin on it. Oh. <laughs> Imagine. That, um, or, like they sell like an old laptop to fucking cashies which yeah. is our porn broker here in canberra mm. it's our version of fucking like porn stars porn stars yeah yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's a good whatever the shop in that show yeah, is yeah yeah, yeah, yeah yeah and hardcore porn in detroit oh, that yeah. other one i actually reached out to the one of the guys from that show to try and get him on the podcast oh, dude, yeah. like a skype one. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> he just fucking didn't reply no. <laughs> and then i watched till the end of the series and found out that there were sour grapes between him and the owners right and i was like oh fuck that's probably like, because i messaged him at like season three mm-hmm. and he didn't reply he actually Actually, yeah. I followed him on Instagram and he followed me back. Oh, yeah. So I was like, oh, fucking thanks for the, the thing. Yeah, yeah. yeah, like we're in lockdown at the time. Mm-hmm. And I was like, would you be interested in doing like a video call? Because mm-hmm. I've had like one US guest on there right. before. So I was like, oh, I've got it all set up. Let's mm-hmm. have a crack. I'm yeah. reaching out to heaps of random people to see if they yeah. do it. Like not like, Just putting out there. not like the big celebrities, but if I like seen a movie and I was like, oh, that guy was a good extra i'll mm-hmm. fucking see if mm-hmm. that cunt i'll just be like oh yeah i've got the dude here from this movie but none of them got back to me or yeah. some got back and said no and yeah. like others others just didn't get back at all yeah um but yeah like i fucking nearly had someone from that show yeah but um yeah i wonder how many things were traded in for cash is that has bitcoin on there like i wonder yeah. if they've checked that shit you know what i mean yeah. i'm sure they just wipe it and start again right probably i mean i imagine probably now maybe they might like is that why mining it's so common now like well not common but like one of the only ways to get shit because it's just yeah fucking everywhere yeah well you have to like if you're mining it you have to at this point have enough rigs to make more money mining than you do the cost of electricity yeah yeah so that's why you got giant warehouses of that's like actually the case in actual mining too yeah yeah, yeah pretty much yeah, yeah. Yeah. Um, but yeah fuck yeah man well anyway um yeah. cheers for being on the show yeah, um good, everyone yeah cool dude. Yeah. It, um if you listen to the show you already know my social media so it's all mikey worthington comedy facebook instagram youtube um and twitch mikey worthington gaming and if you want to check out my uh twitter it's mikey comedy i'm also on tiktok mikey comedy i don't have anything that exclusively goes on to tiktok but uh, it's just another platform you can catch me on yeah. um i i just chuck everything that i put everywhere else onto that and also every now and then i jump on and scroll for two hours and realize i've <laughs> wasted my life um but yeah cool thanks for being on the show man cheers everyone thanks for cheers, listening man. and i'll uh, catch you at the next one let's get on with this geek yeah for sure Fuck yeah. Don't buy me a drink. Just name names. Yeah, yeah right. right. Big Tony. You'll get fucking thrown out of the strip club with your floppy disk. Yeah, all day. Make people feel shame for shit all day. <laughs> Don't blow it. into a hard drive. Yeah, right. <laughs> You'll get We're here to keep it simple. Yeah. Count your money. That they're not proud of. Just give me 10 bucks. Yeah, right. I'm emceeing my own podcast. This is awesome. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I'm like staring at you like a dog with someone who's got food. Like, yeah. <laughs> when am I going to get a piece? The worst part is my fucking um, like anxiety fucks me when you look at me like that because I think that you're waiting for me to say something funny because that's no, I'm like... I'm very expectant. So I'm like either waiting for a question or whatever. Like, yeah, yeah. Have we started yet? Yeah, so I'll, oh, I'll intro. Okay. It was a rolling start. That'll be a little section at the end of the of the whole <laughs> podcast